Okay, so this is your 110 Zoid, the yellow one, and the blue one is a 16 amp uh, 230 volt. In fact, that one's 16 amp as well, but I'll call that the 110 side and the 16 amp side. So you get to AC voltage, and on this one, I'll lift them up, put the leads in, and then shut it down, and then start it. I see people do that, they lift it up and they're doing this, but if you accidentally touch yourself, you could get electric shot, and this is 230, well, this is 110 this side, and 230, so high enough to kill you. But when you test, test between one and earth, and then the other and earth, and then together. It should get 55 to earth, 55 to earth, and then 110. Then on this one, test between live and earth, 230, and then neutral and earth. So, I'm going to start the engine up and then just go do all them tests. bit low on voltage and hertz so needs a bit of work yet okay so it was low voltage was low on that so I'm gonna whip this cover off and have a look A lot of plaster dust everywhere on this one. Obviously, it was used by a plasterer. I want to have a look at the state of the windings on the coil, on the stator, and on the rotor. Don't look too bad. So, if your voltage is low on these, there's usually a capacitor in here. So, I'll pull that out of the way. Let's undo this. I don't know if you can see, but in there, that is a capacitor. Now, obviously, I don't know the value of it. There's no writing on the book on the box, so. Usually around about 20 microfarads, so I'm just going to test that. And if it blows 20, I'll suspect it and I'll uh, replace it. But obviously, until you get it out, you don't know what value it is. So, but it's good. you have to pull one of the leads off to test because otherwise, the windings affect the measurements. So, I'll just do that now. I'll pull the lead off and then I'll keep connect my meter up. So there you go, I've got a reading of 15.5 on that, I'm just testing it with my lead through that hole, which is awkward. So 15.5, 15.5.
I was expecting around 18, 20, perhaps a bit more. So I do suspect that's uh, dropping. I think they've got a tolerance of plus or minus five microfarads. So with the uh, voltage probably being 5% down or something like that, it's probably about right. So anyway, I'll uh, strip it out, get this capacitor out and get it replaced, but I ain't going to do that on video. So I might do a separate video on that.